My name is Isabel. I'm 12 years old. I live in New Zealand. I go to school. And I have hopes and dreams. But... If my home was El Salvador, I could be like 12-year-old Alessandra. She does not go to school. She gets woken up at 4am every morning to go and collect shellfish in the mangrove swamps. She has a 14 hour job. And after that day, she gets her payment of $1.40. If I lived in Sudan, I could be working, working in the deep pit of a mine and hoping that I'd come home to my beloved family. If I was a child in India, I could be spending my days as a servant, being hurt without pay. Or if I was a child in Africa or in Sudan, then my hand could be promised to a man twice my age, without my permission. Imagine a life without the possibility of education. Imagine what it's like to get up at 4am, to work in a deep mud or in the deep hot pit of a mine. Imagine being forced into labour too young without any escape. Imagine your childhood being taken away, stolen from you. These are not just the stories of Alessandra. These are stories of 218 million children worldwide. Child labour has been a problem for 200 years. But little has been done to fix the problem. Today, children are still working in factories, working for your favourite brands. Apple, Ferrero, Hershey's, Nike, there's so many more. Child labour is destroying young lives. I believe that all children have the, ha, should have the right to education, to have hopes and dreams, and to have lives of possibility. We have a responsibility as human beings, as children, to protect those in need. If we want to save the planet, the animals, our people, then why are we harming 11% of our future? I'm sorry that we've done nothing yet. But what are we waiting for? We can change these children's lives and start a brighter future, one that everyone can help change. We don't have to, time for this, just stop. If we work together, then we'll get more accomplished. If we put aside our differences, then we can create a positive change. We are all human. We should all be treated the same, no matter who we are and where we come from. So let's protect our future generation. Let's put an end to child labor. Let's help Alessandra.